I'm Bonnie Sartori with Spiritual Acceleration. I just want to give you some things to do if you experience depression. Depression is something that many people experience, and at least several times throughout their lives. Some people are in states of depression and constantly. I just want to remind you what depression actually is, in case you don't know. Some people actually don't know. So when we have something happen that causes a big emotion, okay, even as a little kid, let's just say a little kid is, um, you know, playing and they get in a fight or whatever, and someone starts crying, mom comes in, gets upset, and, um, you know, one's like blaming the other, and so they both get in trouble, okay? So, so what happens, though, with children is unconsciously, we do not want to risk losing our parents' love, okay? Love is survival. With love, we will live. This is anchored into our subconscious. The reptilian brain also gets activated. That fight, flight, freeze happens within ourselves. But ultimately, for every being, a survival is to be loved, okay? So when we have experiences, and let's say we got in trouble and our mom got mad at us and we felt like oh, that she doesn't love us, okay? Because that's happened. We get in trouble and we take it personal. As little kids, we start to feel like mommy doesn't love me, you know what I mean? And <laughs> because of how she responded or reacted. So what we start to do is we, we, we might have some emotions, like we might get angry at our mom for punishing us or yelling at us or hitting us, whatever, okay? But ultimately what's happening in everybody is there are emotions that are moving through your body, okay? And if those emotions aren't able to just move, they get stuck, okay? And if we have guilt or shame around any of these emotions, we're gonna just keep pushing them down and burying them, okay? That very energy that we're using to push down and bury our emotions are what is what's causing the feeling of depression. You know, where we feel sometimes suicidal, sometimes like we don't want to be here, sometimes we can't even function, sometimes we just, you know, can't get out of bed, or, you know, there's a low-grade depression, there's always a sadness, there's just, you know, emotions that are just buried, but yet we're not really accessing them. Sometimes some people in depression always feel sad. Sometimes uh, there's a feeling of um, anxiety. But it still, it still comes back to the same thing. So think about this. What did you learn? So if you went to church, what did you learn? Especially if you're a Catholic, what did you learn? Okay. <laughs> any kind of sexual thoughts, any kind of sexual desires, there's something wrong with you. Okay. And you're born in sin. There's something wrong with you. So immediately coming into the world, we're stepping into a world where there's belief systems that are pretty anchored in. And humanity, whether they believe all of the belief systems or not, they're still indoctrinated by even being born on the planet. Depending on where on the planet you were born, you're still going to be indoctrinated with the energy frequencies and belief systems of all of these peoples. So when we have our own beliefs, we buy into, there's something wrong with us, we're not enough, we're born in sin, and all the different things, you know, like, Whatever you do, don't be intimate, don't have sex outside of marriage. And, you know, you're, you know, like you're the, you're the cause or reason why other people are, you know, getting excited and all these misperceptions. Okay. So we are just full of energy, emotions. We're emotional beings. We're constantly having emotions. And again, we're constantly pushing them down because it's not okay to feel this, even feelings like this. I have worked with thousands and thousands of people and almost everybody in their subconscious when they were little had a moment or a time or a period where they felt like they hated their mom or hated their dad or maybe long periods of time. Okay. So those are emotions that are not acceptable. You're not supposed to. Okay. And that's a sin, right? And then all the other emotions that you have. Okay. So, you know, it's like, all the emotions that we're having as normal human beings, 
if we let the energy just move through us and we let those emotions just come on out, they'd be gone. We wouldn't be holding on to resentment. We wouldn't be holding on to hating. We wouldn't be holding on to wanting people to suffer or be punished. We wouldn't be holding on to you hurt me. Why are you doing this to me, causing me all this suffering? It come out of the body. For example, if you watch out in the wild, you know, like let's just say there's lions and then there's uh, wildebeest, okay? And they're, they, so the moment that uh, a lion takes down one of the cr critters, the other ones, you can see them, they just kind of shake it off. Their, their whole body, nervous system would just shake all that energy off. And then they'll just keep moving on with their day, okay? Humans, we don't shake anything off. We take it personal and we jam it down. We hold on to all the emotions. And because we're not actually fully embracing and, and uh, fully um, surrendering to emotions, we don't know those emotions. We don't know our feelings. And because of that, we partially feel, and then we feel sad forever, or we feel depressed forever, we anxiety forever, okay? All that's really trying to happen is all these emotions are trying to be known by surrendering, letting them move through so that you know them, then you can be done. So what we do though, is it's like, you know, we push it down, don't cry. <laughs> I remember that again, my grandma, stop crying. I'll give you something to cry about. I remember that one. I got that a lot. Um, so <laughs> it's like, okay, don't cry. And so we learn not to have, not let our, let our, you know, emotions come through. And we're also taught like boys aren't supposed to cry or whatever these belief systems that we have. We're teaching our peoples, our children's that they not to have their emotions. Okay. Then they feel guilty because they have them. Well, think about it. The whole world is depressed. Okay. It's like everybody has emotions. It's natural. It's normal, but every, not everybody, but most of humanity are pushing them down, hiding them, pushing them down, ignoring them, rising above them. And think about this. It takes a lot of energy to hold all those emotions down. But what's happening is you literally are depressing these emotions which causes a feeling of depression because that's exactly what you are doing, okay? So people, no matter what, if you do it in this lifetime or another one, everyone's gonna have to do it. You're gonna have to face yourself. You're gonna have to face what's in there. So if you got depression, here are several ways to start loosening up and releasing depression, okay? So first of all, you need to start understanding that you've got deeply buried emotions that are affecting your well-being. Once you start accepting that, then you can start looking at, okay, what am I experiencing? What kinds of emotions? Yeah, I'm depressed, I can hardly get out of bed, but wait a second, what am I feeling in this? What am I really feeling here? So what you wanna do is you wanna start to come in and letting yourself feel. Now it's not about just uh, getting stuck and recycling, just crying and telling yourself a story. See, the thing about telling yourself a story is it's just a story. That story, you'll just spin it for eternity, okay? In order to drop the story, you have to fully surrender to the emotion so that you know that emotion so you don't have to keep doing it again and again and again, okay? So let's come back to, I'm depressed. I can't hardly get out of bed. I'm asking, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. So I'm going to feel into it. Yep, I feel really sad. Okay, so you don't really know what that sadness is connected to or what's causing it, but the way to find out is, all right, I'm going to surrender to, to this sadness, but not this time I'm going to do it different. This time I'm not going to keep spinning the story. This time I'm going to keep feeling the emotion of my own sadness, okay? So then I start dropping in and I can just feel my heart is shattered, but I still don't go into the story. I don't start focusing on anything. I stay stay with the emotion, okay? And I just keep surrendering to it, going deeper and deeper and deeper into my own subconscious. Often what will happen is when we are truly surrendering and then feeling these emotions, memories start to rise up. And all of a sudden, whoa, just there goes a memory. And don't hook in, just let the memory go, but keep staying with the emotion. So you'll ride through these emotions until um, you can feel like, whoa, there's nothing left. You know, and sometimes it might take a few times to go through fully the emotion. 
Sometimes it'll be like waves. I'll come and go a little bit like it slows down and here it comes again. But always the key is to not be in your mind, not be into story, but you are the emotion. You have surrendered to it so that you are the emotion. You are that, whatever that is. And it doesn't matter what the emotion is. When you surrender to it, what, what's underneath will start to present. And that's what will happen as you keep surrendering to emotions and other, other emotions will start to present. And it starts to give you a sense of, oh, wow, I had a memory. Wow, when my mother did this or left or whatever, and, you know, these little memories that come through, more understanding. And then you also take, you know, like sometimes writing stuff down will be good. Another way to start accessing and clearing out your emotions is start writing, okay? What you want to do is just start writing. Like, let, let's say, you know, you got stuff running with your mother or your father or whoever, okay? Just start writing them a letter, and just get going on that. Once you get going, then change your hand to your non-dominant hand and keep writing and just let, and just at that point, don't even worry about how you're writing. It's more about what's trying to come out because once you start activating the brain by using the non-dominant hand, you start accessing the subconscious and more and more and more will start to present. Okay. So you can Go into feelings like of more like when you're writing, there will be emotions, and you need to have those emotions. Let those emotions just move through you. Again, people, it's not the story. The story will activate the emotions, but once you are in a feeling state, you don't need the story anymore. And it's not the story that's causing you the pain. It's actually coming from past lives. It's just everything's carryover. Nothing started in this lifetime, nothing. Everything's carryover, recreated, so that you can go through and be done with this particular energy, with this particular type of wounding, you know, traumas. So as you're writing, emotions might come, have the emotions. When they subside, get back and start writing again, you know, and do it with anybody and everybody. Some people have profound shifts doing this particular exercise, okay? And remember, depression is depressing, depressing emotions. The emotions have to move. Emotions are energy in motion. They need to move to be set free. So, so another thing you can do to start getting energy moving, emotions moving, is you can take like either a, a hand towel wrap, roll it up so it's like a like a you know like a log long long thing whatever. And, and get like either on your bed or a chair somewhere where you are, can use your body for this. Okay. So first you're going to start with, or even a tennis racket, you can use a tennis racket or a bat or you know something that you're going to be using to literally come down. So what you want to do is you're coming down to hit, you're bending your knees. Okay. So you're bending your knees coming down. So it makes a, a body motion. And then you just let yourself just start using the voice, like whatever you first feel, like maybe you're angry or maybe I feel nothing. Just keep going and let, let the body let go. Let the body take over. And oftentimes it'll, be like the, it'll start happening where you just all of a sudden, a lot of these emotions start to come out. And then pretty soon you're in it. Okay. And you're having deep, like, deep, profound emotions coming to the surface, coming out again, let it move. Again, once you are into story, you're no longer releasing. So you have to let go of story. It has to be pure emotion. But those are ways to really get this emotional energy moving. You can also do things like sometimes people read something and, it, and they have emotional reactions or even watching a movie. I remember for myself, Dumbo. I don't know if y'all remember Dumbo, whoever saw Dumbo, but you know, I, for me, my, you know, my mom and dad, both of them, we pretty much were raised by our grandmother. So we had our parents were kind of deserted us, <laughs> abandoned. So I had, you know, mom stuff. So watching that movie and especially the part where the mom's in the jail and here comes Dumbo and then she's rocking him. That used to just tear my heart out. I remember that. So I used that movie to drop into deeper emotions okay, with my mom. Just let, you know, whatever, whatever it takes. So, you know, it, the key people that is that you want to feel what's there and and remembering depression is depressing emotions. And in order to be free, you got to face it and feel it. And I'm going to remind you again, if you don't do it in this lifetime, 
you'll do it neither the next one or the next one. Okay. There's no way out. <laughs> There's no way around it. Someday you will face yourself. This is the time to do it. This is the new paradigm. Everything's shifting, changing. There is so much more energy hitting the planet that's full of light. That's why all the darkness is presenting. All the ugliness and greed and victimizations and horrors are all acting out because this is what it looks like to bring the darkness to light so that we can step into the new paradigm. So several different ways you can start moving your own depression, several different ways you can face yourself. Again, remember, if you're telling your own story, you're not, you're only recycling. All you're gonna, you'll cry about that forever. In order to truly move in an energy, you have to know it. The way to know it is through total surrender. No mind, no thought, nothing. You are that emotion. And if you're on the ground, feeling your whole body shattered, your heart shattered, just keep surrendering. You're going to feel like <laughs> I'm going to go crazy. I'm going to die. I'll never come out of it. I'm going to go insane. That probably, it won't happen. It won't happen. Okay. But it's to go through it. Okay. The ego is the part that's getting terrified. Okay. Scared. You're going to go crazy. You're going to die. Okay. But what's happening is the ego is actually dying as we, as we embrace and allow all of these feelings to come. Okay. So we all have mom, dad issues, everybody on some level. Okay. So that's the kind of like the, the core, the crux of it all is usually starts right there. And then of course there's other things that happen, but ultimately we just want to be free, be liberated, and end our depression. And the way to do that is to face ourselves and to know these deep emotions, let them move through us so that we're no longer controlled and no longer affected by these really intense, dark emotions. All right, so you've got lots of different ways to, to work with this and play with it, practice with it, do what you can, go deep, and every piece you do will make a shift in your consciousness. And once you start feeling the shifts, then it gets exciting. And as a reminder, too, in our vault, we have many, many um, group clearing videos. And we do have one called Depression, Depression, Depression. So that's one of them. But there's lots of different um, topics that might apply to you. So check out our, our um, group clearing vault and see what can actually support you. Uh, through using group clearings. They actually work. They're powerful, potent, they unravel lots of emotional wounding. So that's another way to unravel and clear some of your depression. All right. So hopefully you'll take advantage of this and start unraveling your depression.